So reviewing our five stage hacking cycle. Phase one, footprinting and recon, active and passive flavors. We spent last class doing introduction and footprint and reconnaissance. From the information we gathered in footprinting and reconnaissance, some of that would be things like network ranges. We're gonna feed that information into our scanners and we're gonna do a very, very active type of reconnaissance because we're sending out crafted probes directly to our targets and we're listening a response. So we're sending out transmissions, requesting a response, very active in nature, very useful, and lots of great information. So network scanning refers to the set of procedures for identifying hosts, ports, and services in a network. It is one of the components of intelligence gathering, and it is part of the pre-exploitation phase, right? This all precedes step three, which is gaining access. Its purpose, first off, what hosts are actually live out there in a given IP range? You don't want to spin your wheels and waste a lot of time probing and scanning and footprinting systems that aren't there to begin with. So first order of business is host discovery. The corresponding IP address and then as much as you can learn about that host. We're going to start off with open ports. There are 65,536 ports per transport layer protocol which gives you a total of over 130,000 channels of communication. And any one of those might be an attack vector. Yeah. So we're gonna check every port and not really. That would be an exhaustive scan. We might, but it's really time consuming. We're gonna scan for the most likely ports to be open. So we're figuring out how we can communicate with the box. Number one, is it live? And number two, what channels are open for me to interact with? It? Then we're going to need to get as much specificity as possible about the operating system and the versions of services running on the box. This is all generally external, externally observable criteria, okay, information. I don't actually have to authenticate to the system to see all this stuff. So it's not intrusive. It's not intrusive like enumeration is, which we're going to talk about on Tuesday night or on Thursday, right? Got a Monday and Wednesday class, and I got a Tuesday, Thursday class, and I keep getting confused which time slot we're in. For the longest time, we did CEH on Monday, Wednesdays. All right, so discover services running on the host and discover vulnerabilities in live hosts. Now, this is its own module. This is actually module five, but back in the day, the early versions of CEH, this was part of the scanning module. And in my mind and heart, the vulnerability scanning is still part of scanning, but vulnerability analysis and vulnerability management is a very important topic. It got its own module, although a lot of that exceeds the scope of your activities that you would use a vulnerability scan in, in the footprinting process. So we will talk more about that on Tuesday night. We'll talk about vulnerability scan. All right, so the services, the processes, the applications, those are all potentially exploitable. I wanna know what's running on that box. OS versions, protocol versions, et cetera. 